Oh, hello. You call me at a good time. I'm actually going to show you how to draw through it. What that means is you're going to take a default or a hand-drawn character that you probably designed and you're going to import it into your workspace and you're going to basically create a character in parts. That way you can always move it around in your own customized positions and you can probably effectively do a walk cycle. So I'll actually start over. So let's begin. What we're going to do is we're going to start by importing a character into our workspace. So to do that, you go to File, Import, Images and then you browse the file. I'll use this guy here. Now you can always create a new layer or you can add to an existing layer. I have no layers right now. You see I just deleted them. <coughs> so I'll create single layer name later. Yeah. Alright, so vectorization, you can choose it. Vectorize the import. And I will convert mine to color. Because you have the different modes here. Black and white, color, gray. So just go with color. So this is my character that I will be drawing from. I won't go through the entire process, but just so you understand how it works. Also, I'll break down this video into parts. That way, we can go into creating a template and working with palettes. So First things first, you want to start with a new layer because you're going to draw in parts. You notice my character gets faded out because I have set my light table on. Just go to this camera button here and that should work for you. Alright, so let's start drawing. Now you want to draw with the head first. So let's label this head and get my brush tool. So, you notice my palette, my colors, I have hair and skin. I usually choose to work with, I choose to label mine based on what they're used for. That way, if I want to change them later on, I could always reference which one I'm using it for, and it would be easier for me. So, that's a good naming convention. Don't name them black, white, yellow, because you don't know which yellow is being used for what. Alright? So, first things first, I'll just start drawing tracing over my head. I won't be doing all the features because you know you might need to rig your eyeball or you might want to rig some other parts like the iris, the eyeball, your nose, all these things. So I'll try to do this as quickly as possible for you. So that's my head. Now, if it's not as perfectly smooth as you'd want it to be, you can always go in your select tool, go to your tool properties, and choose the operation to smooth it. Cool. So, look, it's more perfect. So, now I'm just going to get my bucket tool, paint it, fill it in, make sure my colors are right first. So, I'm going to fill in the hair, and then skin. So that's that for the head. Now the next part is the neck. So I'll add a new layer. Work with my neck. Now for the neck, it's not like you're going to just draw straight like this. Just as you see it. You need to make the joints or the regular, the circular <laughs> joints. That way we have good rotation. So. You get your ellipse tool, and this is a simple way you can do it. You can even draw by hand if you want to. Now, this is how I would recommend doing it. This is my personal preference. And hold on, shift and alt. Draw a circle from the center, and you want to start within the head. That way, the neck is going to be behind the head. So, start there, and your base point would be somewhere down here. 
we're ready to large them right let's increase the thickness of these I think 10 will do. And then I can get my line tool. And I want to make sure I have, you know, this one here snap to contour. That way I can snap my lines to the contours of the circle. So drag down here. And I drag this down here. I also want to make sure that these are the same thickness. So bring this up to 10. Almost done. So this is what my neck would look like, but I'm going to convert this to brush. Seeing that this is pencil right now. So operations here: pencil to brush. Click, and I'll just flatten it too, because I'm going to cut out some parts. You can either use the cutter tool to do this. Or you could use the eraser tool. It's easier for you to use the eraser tool, and we're just going to erase the inner line. Whoops, too much. And that's an it. So you just fill that in with the right color, and you're well on your way. But right now, it seems that your head, your neck is above your head. All you have to do is just rearrange the layers. So now you have something like this. So I'll just turn off my light box, and this is what it will look like so far. I'll hide the template. This is what I have so far. Now you have to go through the process of actually drawing each and every one of them in parts, of course. And based on the previous tutorials, you want to take into consideration the patching. But I guess first of all you probably want to draw the parts so you can get the patching done. Before I finish off with this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to show you one more thing with the torso. I'm actually going to show you how to use templates. I mean, rather, textures, sorry. So let's quickly draw a torso. T O R C. And I'll put this on top. Now, depending on how you design your character, your torso does not have to be behind. You actually draw your torso above. So, here I go. And I'm going to draw the arm too. I'm going to draw the torso. I should probably make this brush a little thicker and turn on my light box. You think that's good enough? Maybe. I'll just redraw this. Delete. Mm -hmm. One thing I can tell you about the world right now it's gone. To the dark. So we can this everywhere. So this is my torso. And you're gonna notice my network being built little by little. And the template's over there. Alright, so I'm gonna fill this with a color. Or rather, I'll have two colors. I'll just call one shirt. Shirt. Give it a color. I don't know. Blue. And I could fill that in. So my render view looks something like this. Let me just hide the template. It will look something like this. Right? But I don't want to work with a solid color. What if you want to work with, say, if you had a shirt and you want to have a nice pattern, you want to use a texture. Instead of having to draw by hand, what your texture would look like, you could actually add yourself a texture. So to do that, you just click on the button in your colors, plus T, that's what it looks like. And it will bring up a box looking for what I'm looking for. Now generally what it asks you for first is either a TGA file or a PSP. 
No, you can actually make a blank PSD and use that to start out with because afterwards you can basically use any file type. <coughs> so I have a data texture and this is what my texture looks like. You can see my nice drainage here. Nice texture. And you can also edit your texture using the texture edit gradient. Click on that. You can always rearrange <coughs> or resize. So you basically have free reign over the texture. Now I was saying about the PSD and then afterwards. I can actually edit this texture. I'll just simply right click and choose edit texture and you'll notice that it shows some jpg files also so instead of just limiting you to just psd now because you already imported the first psd it basically allows to use any file type now, i don't think that's completely safe considering I actually use an executable file once so yeah Or is the darker shirt? Still has a texture. But well, that's how textures work. Now what you'd have to do is go out of your way to pretty much make the rest of your character doing the arms and the legs. If you see one of my videos, you'll see the walking box man. That's pretty much how you break down a character. So take that into consideration. And I'll make another tutorial right after this. Take care and God bless. Peace out.